Alicia Williams' parents say their goal is simple. We just want everyone to be arrested who has something to do with my daughter's death. No justice, no peace. A group of more than 20 people gathered outside the Regency. If you, like many others, have never heard the tragic story of Kalisha Williams, it may sound like a freak incident. Her passing was caused by a series of events that, if one had happened even slightly differently, she would have still been alive today. Alas, the future is unpredictable, and no one can really tell how one action can set the ball rolling for several consequences in the future. This is not just another story about gun violence in America, although it does involve gun violence in America. You will learn why this is quite different from the several incidents that have made the news quite a lot. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If you haven't, kindly touch the subscribe button and tap the bell icon to get a notification for the next time we drop one of our interesting videos. Place, I need to know what happened after she made that last TikTok video at 12.02 and she was dead at 12.23. I need answers from 12.02 to 12.23. The demonstration last We don't have that much information on what Kalisha Williams's childhood was like because before the incident that led to the making of this video, she was not famous. In fact, we can say that had this tragedy not occurred, we would not be making this video. The facts we were able to gather from several reports is that her mother's name is April Smith, and they lived with her stepdad, Ronnie Savoy. Kalisha was born in 2004 and was a South Atlanta high school student. It might interest you to know that a freshman from the same school was involved in an illegal gun sale and shooting of two teens in July 2022. While this is unrelated, it just shows the history of violence in this particular school and its neighbors. Now back to her background, Kalisha Williams was no star or celebrity, but she did love to dance. And as TikTok has provided the platform for dance videos to go viral, you can expect that the teenager spent loads of time on the app recording videos and watching content created by other users. Here is how the story of her tragic incident happened. A 16-year-old girl went to what her parents thought would be a chaperoned holiday party, and she never made it back home. Her parents question where the adults were during the violence and say they want to see more people face charges. It was at the height of the pandemic in 2020 when most of the world obeyed the local rules of social distancing and staying indoors. Kalisha Williams's parents felt that she had been indoors for too long and believed that the isolation was not healthy for a teenager. So, they urged her to go out and have fun with her friends, but they didn't know that her leaving the house that day would be the last time they saw their daughter alive. The road to hell is indeed paved with good intentions. Her parents believed that she would be attending a hangout with her friends at a hired Airbnb apartment. However, unknown to the parents, the assigned chaperone had taken Kalisha to a hotel alongside other kids. The chaperone took Kalisha and her friends to the Hyatt Regency Atlanta Hotel instead of Airbnb for undisclosed reasons. The general belief is that there had been an issue with booking the Airbnb, which is why the chaperone took the kids to a hotel instead. Again, there was a good intention behind this. The kids had been looking forward to the hangout after being cooped up in their homes for so long. The chaperone didn't want to disappoint and instead decided to wing it. How bad could things get? You are about to find out. After the party, everyone returned to their rooms, and Kalisha did the same. Before turning in for the night, she decided to give viral fame another shot again. Unknown to her, it would be her last shot. Around midnight, she started recording a dance video when someone entered her room. People believe she knew the person who entered because she acknowledged them and immediately stopped recording. Also, the reports all confirm that the person was male. Not long after, an argument ensued, and it quickly escalated because the next sound that came out of the room was a gunshot. People outside the room heard it and rushed to help her. When they got there, she was bleeding from her groin. The person had shot her between her legs. Two men carried her and took her to the lobby while supporting her legs, and they called the police. This is the morgue. And I was like, the morgue? They was like, yes, ma'am. They was like, well, we're waiting on your daughter's body to come through. When the police came, they figured out that she was not breathing and couldn't feel her pulse and immediately rushed her to the hospital. When the ambulance rushed her to the hospital, the doctors did everything possible to revive her, but their effort wasn't enough. Kalisha Williams died that same day. Who is the mystery shooter? According to the police, the boy who shot Kalisha Williams was her acquaintance. 
The cops arrested the boy at the crime scene, but the police didn't reveal his identity. The boy was taken into custody and interrogated at the police station. The law enforcement agency charged him with sexual assault, underage possession of a weapon, felony murder, and reckless conduct. The cops detained him in a remand home in the Metro Regional Youth Detention Center. The reason for the altercation between the boy and Kalisha Williams is still yet unknown. However, it is likely that he is not yet 18, which is why the police did not reveal his identity immediately, as the law protects minors, even in cases as serious as this. During the early hours that all these incidents transpired, her parents, April Smith and Ronnie Savoy, had no idea that something terrible had occurred to their child until eight hours after she died. The chaperone, again for reasons unknown, refused to answer her parents' desperate phone calls when they could not reach their daughter. When the chaperone eventually called Kalisha Williams's parents to inform them about what had happened to their daughter, they were furious. It was then that they learned that contrary to what they thought, their child wasn't at an Airbnb. The hotel room was in her name, so I feel like she should be held accountable for my daughter's death as well. Her mother says she wasn't notified of her daughter's death until eight hours after she was pronounced dead. The distraught parents expressed anger towards the chaperone and felt the chaperone should be held accountable for what had happened. The father stated that although killings in Atlanta at that time were uprising, he never believed his daughter would be a victim. Before Kalisha's killing, about three people died in the vicinity around that time. Her parents could only suffer pain and heartbreak over their lost child. Like every parent out there who may have lost their child or children one way or the other, Kalisha Williams' parents would wish there was something they could do to bring their child or children back to life and back to them. But medically and scientifically, it wouldn't have been possible for them to do it. The Hyatt Management Group announced that they were hurt and saddened by what had happened in their hotel. They said they were working alongside and cooperating with the police to help their investigation. The Hyatt Management Group made it known that they had issued a new policy whereby only guests of 18 years and above were allowed to book a room in their hotel. Kalisha Williams's viewing took place on Friday the 1st of January 2021, from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the R.W. Andrews Mortuary. Her funeral followed the next day at the life-changing work of Faith Church, Washington Road. Kalisha Williams's parents were sad that their daughter was never coming back home again like every parent. April Smith, her mother, has vowed to get justice for her daughter. Her parents are left with the memories and pictures of their daughter, but we can only hope it comforts them. There you have it, a series of events that were not supposed to happen led the young lady to her untimely death. What is your verdict? Who do you think was at fault for her death? Are there some quick facts you feel like we missed? Please let us know in the comment section below and check out this other recent clip from Cydermex Entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.